Hi everyone, let's talk about Space Race, which is on Kickstarter right now and the campaign page is linked in the description. If you want to see all the final stuff, this is all prototype things. And there's a full playthrough if you're wondering where the rest of the board and stuff is. It just about fits in the camera. So, this is a really nice you know, engine building game that you are, at the start, not making much progress. It's probably, you know, it's trying to evoke this thing that the scoring is progress. It's the, it's the year that you end up getting to is your score. And it's probably trying to evoke that feeling of as the technology progresses, as we get more and more experienced in this space travel business, that we will be doing more and more powerful things, earning more and more points. You, know, you start out, you have these control cards. You, there are four different types of control cards. You have three of each. You play a control card every round, and that tells you which area of the board you're going to get to take a card from. And so as you build up your agency, you get more and more cards that the control cards let you take one of the cards from that particular area and you end up getting stronger not maybe not just in that particular area but often in that area and so you want to repeatedly take these actions because you score more and more points for doing it and activate more and more of these abilities but at the same time you only have three opportunities with a little exception you only have three opportunities to take that particular action play that particular kind of control card so yeah, you are really incentivized to keep repeating things and keep going along your thing that uh, combos a million different actions in it, but then reined in by the fact that, okay, you can do it again, but this might be the last chance you get in the whole game. So yeah, maybe you want to wait and get more cards. And then you've got the... So it's not just that cards boost their own line. So this is a propaganda card that helps you with propaganda. It's going to score you more points when you do propaganda and give you an extra action to do whenever you do a propaganda action in the future. But this also helps with the space program. So when you take that action as well. So you are trying to map out these things with the cards in your hand and the cards out on the board. You are trying to map out this little journey through, uh, through your engine and how you are going to tailor it because you, know, you can't do everything. You can't be strong in all of the roles. But you do need to be, a, you don't necessarily need to do a bit of everything, but you need to be aware of what your opponents are doing so you can't let them run away with things. Like, say, the breakthrough is not so much emphasized on the cards. You can get uh, points for doing it. You can build up your level in breakthrough. But it's about these areas on the board, and through certain rounds, you're going to score those areas and get points for them if you have the majority of astronauts in them. And so that gives a, an extra little twist on that. As, as I've criticized before in other games, that it's not necessarily the game's fault. With two players, area majority is just not that interesting. And there is a tweak for it that normally being in charge of an area is worth four points. Two-player game, it's just three points because, yeah, to, to tone it down a little bit. But yeah, it's, it's definitely the part that, you know, you can't let the other person run away with it because they will just get so many more points than you for it if you just leave it to them so you need to be if they're going to be involved in it you need to be trying to stop them just getting all of the areas but yeah it's, it's definitely the part that uh that i like the least i'm mainly all about the the card play and building up your agency and the research areas and yeah it's really really fun for that the look of the game i i love the artwork and this kind of retro feel that the whole thing's got and you know 3d printed uh space shuttles I'm not sure I've seen them. Rockets? Yeah, probably call them the proper things. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> they've crashed, unfortunately. But the, the blueprint look, I really, really like it from kind of a, a concept style. But I, and I realize this is a prototype, so this might not even be in the final thing. But with the size of the board, you know, it's, it's our entire table, this, uh, this board, and the kind of the, the thin text, white text on this dark blue background, it's it gets harder to see, you know, this, uh, the player aid and stuff and the cards so far away from you. But yeah, definitely the, the round structure and stuff can get hard to see unless it's right in front of you. But yeah, that might not even be a factor going into the final game. But I do love this feeling of escalation. The sheer number of, you know, we, we played a two player game in the video. And still this, this is the deck that hasn't been used yet and you know that might uh that might be a downside as it is in games like this that you know if, if you're really going for you really say that you're going to do space programs early on and you really try and boost that and then cards just don't come out for it maybe but I've, i feel like just from you know the the little experience that we've had with it so far that's kind of the, the the sheer number of things that these cards do 
and the different kind of interlocking parts. You know, this one relates to propaganda and space programs. This one's really about technology and breakthroughs. The, the different combinations and different powers. And it's not just about boosting the levels and the actions that you get. Sometimes they will give you extra things that you can do at the end of the round if they have bureaucracy actions. Some only activate if you're dedicated. And so certain control cards make you dedicated for the round. And so they suddenly become a lot more attractive, even if they aren't the particular type of control card you want to activate in that. There is so much... Yeah, there's, there's, there's such a wide variety of stuff in this deck and you barely see you know, a fraction of it in a two player game you'll obviously you probably see double the number of cards in a four player game maybe even more if everybody's going for drawing cards powers but yeah there is there's a ton more to see in there and i'm sure a ton of different ways that the game can go that we haven't seen yet but yeah the playthrough is the main thing though watch that and see what you think about it see if you'd be interested in it i've really enjoyed my time with it so far it's just a prototype, it's all in progress so far, so things could change, couldn't they? But anyway, there's more playthroughs on the channel, hundreds of them, nearly 300 in fact. We'll get there one day and then I can say more than 300. As always, the outros fizzle out, don't they? They're better than this. The playthroughs fizzle out properly. Final thoughts though. First impressions, yeah. Bye! <laughs>